place. So I suppose we've looked at all that kind of, you know, note making, note yeah. taking and all the organisation of notes and things like that. And as you've said, you know, you're really good for being motivated and getting back on track. So what, what would you say to someone maybe who isn't that motivated or doesn't really feel that need to get back on track? As you know, you said you've loads going on in your life. Is yeah. it the same for everyone? Or? Um, is it the same for everybody? Yeah, it could be like, or, you know, I think when somebody's not, mo it's a really tough question. Yeah. Like when somebody's not motivated, it's kind of, it's different for everybody. Cause I have gone through periods where I'm like, I can't Yeah, you know, it's just so difficult. It is. And we all, we've all been there. Like you will get like January, February will come around, you're exhausted and you, you just don't want to come in. Mm. But that's going to affect you in May. Yeah. So you need to keep that your end goal in your head. Mm -hmm. If you don't feel like coming in or you don't feel like doing any work and you don't feel like doing anything. And again, we've all been there. Yeah, absolutely. We have all been yeah, there. Yeah. It happened to me in first year. I went through a month of, mm. I just couldn't, mm. couldn't be bothered to really. Yeah, yeah. I just got into such a rush. Mm. But that affected me in May. Yeah, so it's going to come back. It's going to come back yeah. and bite you. Like, so you need to keep that in your head. You need to keep it like in the back of your mind. Okay, I may not be motivated this week, and that's fine. You can mm. take a week. Yeah, don't let it go past that. The weeks go by really quick. They do. I, I don't know. Like, I mean, you know, when you start in September, I missed one day, yeah. and the amount of information yeah. I missed was horrendous. Yeah. I was like, oh my god, how did I miss all of this? Yeah. It's like a week's worth. Yeah. So, like, if you ha if you get into that rut. And it, it, a lot of first years will because it's so scary mm. and it's so intimidating and, you know, they feel a bit lost. They don't know what to be doing. So if you get into that and you feel you can't even get out of it, yeah. go to student services. Yeah, They're amazing do. for that. Yeah. And then as well, if, you, if you're not overwhelmed and you just can't be bothered, just think, okay, in May, I have exams in May. If I don't get up and come in and do some mm. work, I ain't going to get the grade I want. Mm. And as well, also, you know, it does, your attendance does reflect at the end as well. Mm. So people don't think, oh, it's grand, so I don't yeah. have to be there, I have all the work, yeah. you know, I'll be fine. Mm, yeah. Lectures take note of attendance, yeah. and it's very important because mm. when it comes to the exam boards, mm. if it's between one and two percent, you never know. That yeah. attendance will help, yeah. you know, so, you, you know. Do you think it's a good idea saying, you know, if I'm there, you know, in September and I'm kind of struggling and someone says to me, oh, but Gina, think about next May. Next May might seem a really long it's way not, away. It's I, yeah, but do you think it might be good for, for, for them to kind of think about, okay, I'll get through the next two weeks yeah. or I'll get through the next week. Or next, like, yeah, Because exactly. that's how the, the weeks then I'll get through this topic exactly. even. I'll get through yeah, this topic. Yeah, good idea. And yeah. see how I get on. And yeah. then once that topic's done, you're probably in October yeah. and then it's okay, I'll get through this semester or just the Christmas. Yeah, so just you know, small milestones. Yeah, little steps, yeah. you know, because as I said, it's so overwhelming. Yeah. And it's it like is, running a marathon. It, it is, <laughs> except you've like three people on, it feels like you've three people on yeah. your back and you can feel like you're sinking. Yeah. And it does, it's very demotivating. It's like, just small steps. Yeah. Like I said, it's yeah. a bit like getting back running if you haven't been running before or something. That's just not so that far. No, but it's <laughs> Um, but it's but yeah, just you know. It is. It is. Don't don't expect baby steps. Baby steps. Totally. And if you're if you're if you're struggling and you know you're you're you just lost motivation because you feel like you're struggling, go ask a lecturer mm. or go ask a, a, a second year student. Yeah. Or again, go to student services because they can put you in contact with it, maybe another student who's having issues or had not having issues but have been through that. Yeah, exactly. I think that's but like really if you're good. really struggling and you're, you're losing just motivation, talk, yeah, it, just talk to somebody. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I think as well, talk to those who are in your class as well. Sometimes we, we go outside of class, mm -hmm. you know, we think, okay, I'll talk to... But in the sense of maybe your first year and you don't really have yeah. that social circle, yeah. but maybe, like go to a let your, your class tutor. Yeah, there's a great And explain idea. to them, yeah. going, listen, I'm really struggling mm -hmm. and I'm not motivated at all and I'm, you know, I'm finding it very difficult mm -hmm. and they will do everything for yeah. you because lectures are there to help you. Yeah, and the, and the class rep is there as well, kind of yeah. as a support oh, yeah. thing that, like, you know, just yeah. talk to them and they're in your class, so they probably experience the same things that you yeah. have as well. Yeah, so. and we, we don't know what's going on in our yeah, yeah, so, so just talk. You may talk have a through. smile on your face, but they could be... Yeah, true. On the inside. Yeah.